exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's always fun. I mean, we started the day off today with Padre, so we were able to get out there early and often, and then we went into the scrimmage, and then we had a lot of positives from that. So. How good does it feel to have so many people back from last year's offense here again this spring? It's definitely exciting just to see uh, all the depth that we have at offense now, all the guys that came back. I'm really happy for it, but um, it's going to be exciting definitely to see this, what this offense does. Uh, we're going to try to build the defense up as much as possible because I think we only have like two returning starters, which is like Ben and Tootie. So we're just going to build them up, build up the younger guys, create depth at every position, and uh, just go from there. Jordan, as you enter the second full year with Coach LA, Coach Scott, I mean, with a year of experience and reflection on it, exactly how different or what they want to do compared to Coach Morris? I just like the way that they're keeping it so simple. They're just keeping it simple for everybody so that we can just perfect the plays that we do have instead of throwing some random plays in there or whatnot. And then two heads is always better than one, just thinking. So uh, they're, they're definitely doing a great job. And I love playing for them. Statistically, obviously, it helped you. I mean, for just for the tight ends, what, what, what are the differences from then to now? Uh, I think they just went back to just look at old film to see when the offense was actually really good, and that was back when we had Dwayne and all those guys. So I think they just went back to the basics and just went from there. How did they get simpler for even the younger, you know, like Milan and Cannon, as well as the offensive line? Is it been an easier transition because what they've done is simplified things? Yeah, it's definitely easy for everybody. It might not be as easy for somebody just coming in, but. Um, it's just you got to learn it. It's just like a test or something like that. But for the guys that have been here for a while, like Milan and Kim, it's definitely easier for them to learn. They're definitely uh, complimented and putting on the field. So. How did the uh, offense perform in the scrimmage? We did very well. Uh, there's a lot of positives uh, just with our up front on the line and stuff like that. We were able to move the ball running. So that was definitely good to see. And then uh, just with Mike not being able to practice. And then uh, I think Trey Beyond wasn't practicing either. So we had some guys step up in nine, man. We had, we were switching people around. We had Hunter Renfro playing Mike's position. So it was definitely good to see just knowing that all the guys are so versatile. Do you find it's easier with the continuity on the offense, you know, to step in this spring that there isn't a whole lot of installation that it's like, yeah, we've got this? Yeah, it's definitely a whole lot easier just for all the guys that have been there and then uh, just for everybody coming back. It's, it just makes everything so much easier because we play together. You don't have to get used to anybody new in there. So it's, a, it's definitely a, just easier for all of us. This will be your last year. So what are you doing to grow up some of those younger tight ends? And, you know, who's impressing you? Who are you, you trying to bring along? I'm trying to bring along all of them. Uh, I'm still working on the leadership role, but uh, I'm just trying to help them in any way possible. Any questions they have, I'm trying to help them, help them run better routes. And then I'm still taking uh, little pointers from Garrett on the block and stuff. So we all kind of help each other, just uh, strengthen each other. And then um, just going this offseason, we're just going to get better and better. How much are you going to miss Stanton off, both on and off the field? He's still out there for the most part. Uh, I think he's going to stay around and do his uh, after <laughs> or his overgrad or whatever it's called. So uh, he's going to be around, so that's pretty exciting. He's going to be there to help me out for anything. What kind of pointers does Garrett give you? <laughs> he's he's definitely the blocker in the room, so he's pretty much used to all the fullback, out of the backfield kind of stuff, just going head to head with the linebackers. So uh, he's definitely helping all of us, strengthening all of us. And then, uh, But there's a bunch of guys that are really making positive. Uh, just marks for it, just like uh, DJ Greenlee, who hasn't played a lot at all. So he's definitely uh, impressed me a whole lot. And then Milan and Canada are learning the playbook a whole lot more. So it's, it's very encouraging. I guess Christian is a little kind of crazy with that blocking, though. Right? I mean, he's not afraid to stick his head in there, is he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty ridiculous. He's a hard headed dude. <laughs> Besides blocking, what are some of the other things you're working on this offseason? Just the leadership, really. Uh, 